in 18th chapter, uh, the fifth verse, is uh, uh, Yagyodana tapa karma na tyajyam karyam evatat Yagyodanam tapa shaiva pavanani manishina Acts of sacrifice, charity and finance are not to be given up. They must be performed. Indeed, sacrifice, charity and finance purify even the great souls. Uh, so, uh, we know according to the cultivation of our faith in our respective religions, you know, uh, our acts of sacrifice, that is called yagya, dan uh, means charity, uh, and tapa means austerity. All these three acts are affected by mode of goodness, passion, and ignorance. All right. So there are different ways people think about what to give and how much to give on a calculative basis. Those who are uh, in mode of passion, they, they calculate on the basis of uh, what will benefit me, how much I will get recognition of this or that. The so mode of passion is there. But Krishna advice is something uh, which is uh, contrary. That when people uh, ignore the effect of the material modes of nature they have in their pious activities, but pious activities are classified into three types. In mode of goodness, passion, and ignorance. And everyone does not yield the same result, even though if it is an act of charity. So, how to judge uh, who is the best friend of all, municipal soul, or doing How do we judge? People have different emotions, different understandings, and different inclinations. Yeah. So, Krishna gives in conclusion uh, uh, that charity must be given to the person who is uh, anupakari. Dhanam dieta anupakari. Uh, Charity in the mode of goodness. Huh? 1720 is charity in the mode of goodness. Right. Datavyam iti deshe kale smutam. Charity given out of duty without expectation of return at the proper time and place and to the worthy person is considered to be in the mode of goodness. Prabhupada explains that in the Vedic literature, charity given to the person engaged in spiritual activities is recommended. There is no recommendation for giving charity indiscriminately. Spiritual perfection is always the con consideration. Therefore, charity is recommended to be given at a place of pilgrimage and at a lunar or solar eclipse and at the end of month or to the qualified Brahman or a Vaishnava devotee for, or in the temples. Such charity should be given without any consideration of return. Charity to the poor is sometimes given out of compassion, but 
if a poor man is not worthy uh, or worth giving charity to, then there is no spiritual advancement. In other words, indiscriminate charity is not recommended in the Vedic literature. Some people are uh, of the obsession that you give with your right hand, uh, the left hand should not know. <laughs> what does it mean? Don't engage the left hand in giving the charity. Always give to the right hand. Uh, from the left hand, generally people do uh, the uh, activities which are not said to be clean. They're lefties. Are you lefty in your writing? You write with the right hand? A oh, good boy. <laughs> lefty. The right hand? Okay, good. Uh, so, but they say lefties are very smart. <laughs> Those who are writing with the left hand. But if they write something tangible, then they will get the mark. Mm -hmm. uh, do you eat with the right hand or left hand? Why? You can't like eat with the left hand. It's like harder. No. Left hand is not considered to be clean. All right? So anyway, <laughs> uh, it's important to be, we consider the activity in the mode of goodness for the welfare of our uh, soul, uh, uh, bringing up our consciousness to the higher uh, category. There are many other things to be considered. Krishna explains. Mm -hmm. Yatup Pratyup Karartha Palamuddhishya Vapuna Diyatecha Pariklishtam Tadhanam Rajasam Smritam The charity performed with the expectation for some return or with the desire for pretty results or in the grudging mood is said to be charity in mode of fashion. There is a Devahuti Kapila, not seen. He's gone to the Maharaj. Huh? He's gone. gone. Why? He has some work to do. He has some work to do, so he is gone. He's an independent thinker. Huh? He's leaving the work undone with me. And uh, telling Maharaj approved. What do I have to approve? I don't know. He'll come and meet you on Monday, explain everything. He said. This is not the way. You know, he's overzealous to do me favor, but uh, that may not be in mode of goodness. But this is the kind of charity which is probably a disturbing charity. You know, there's no approval, nothing that I know. And uh, he said, uh, he's telling that he's doing very important, you know. So even I should not know. So this, this, this is trying to do favor or give me in charity something which is mind boggling. Okay. It is not going to be conducive. I don't think anybody commissioned him to do. He must he must have been overzealous to do something, but more is passionate. Raja Samsutam. That is the effect of more of passion. Uh, and that charity performed with the expectation of some return or with the desire of positive results, or in grudging mood is to be said to be in charity in mode of passion. Prabhupada is telling that charity is sometimes performed for elevation to heavenly kingdom and sometimes to great trouble, uh, with great trouble and with uh, repentance afterwards. Why have I spent so much in this way? Charity is also sometimes given under some 
obligation at the request of the superior. This kind of charity are said to be given in the mode of passion. Huh? There are many charitable foundations uh, which offer their gifts to institutions uh, with sense gratification goes on. Such charities are not recommended in the Vedic scriptures. Only charity in the mode of goodness is recommended. And the last one that is saying that Adesha Kale Yadanam Apatribyate Asat Kritam Avakyatam Tatama Samasam Samrudam and charity performed at an impure place, at an impure time, to unworthy persons, or without proper attention and respect is said to be in the mode of ignorance. Contributions for indulgence in intoxication and gambling are not encouraged here. Uh, that sort of contribution is in the mode of ignorance. Such charity is not beneficial. Rather, sinful persons are encouraged. Uh, similarly, if a person gives charity to a suitable person, but without respect and without attention, and, and that sort of charity is also said to be the mode of darkness. So, uh, everybody is requested to do charity, but how people will respond depends upon the effect of the three modes. Krishna consciousness is about it. About the three. So, our, our, our charity should not have much in calculation with uh, the effects of the three modes. Of course, in physical state, uh, where we have to endure the reactions of our karma, we partake in, and so we have a karma bandhana. Uh, and yet, uh, some purificatory or obligatory services are performed in the form of charity. Uh, that charity uh, should be uh, given as if we are obliged because of so much rendering service. Do you know whom are we obliged to? Devarshi Bhutartha Nranam Pitranam Nayam Kinkaraja Narpatim Charajan. These are the six different kinds of uh, departments. Also, we end up giving charity or a compulsory tax. Uh, we are obligated uh, to uh, put up respectful and contribute, uh, not in terms of pure devotional service, but contribute in favor of, say, building temples and other things. That's more of goodness is there. All right. So we are obligated to the favors. Uh, Rishis, they are the guide, guiding principles to our Vedic Shastra and giving uh, uh, the ways to uh, achieve certain goals which are also bound by three modes of material nature. So according to the uh, constitution of the psyche of a person, whether he is in mode of goodness or mixed mode of goodness and passion or pure passion or mixed mode of passion and ignorance. So varieties of uh, situations are there and accordingly they are bound to do activities according to the modes of prakriti kriya manani gunai karmani sarvaksha but this karma is so binding that it binds even our intelligence huh? and he thinks himself to be huh? karta Ahankaram Vimuthatma Kartaram Timuriyata is obliged to do by the pressure of the modes of material nature. And he thinks he's the doer. Can you agree with that? If we are forced to act according to our modes of material nature, huh, do we become doer? Or the doer is the modes of material nature. 
the Krishna's vision and our vision is completely contradictory. We think we are the doer. But Krishna says, no, I set up the uh, rules of Prakriti. She is the doer. Because she is the controller of the three modes of material nature, Durga Devi. So why don't you uh, understand this? And if you surrender to me, then and then you will be able to remove the effects of three modes of material nature. Not otherwise. Durga Devi will not release you. Prakriti Kriya Ganani Gunai Karmani Sarvata. Ahankaram Vigodhatma Karparam. So, that is a false, uh, you know, uh, psychology people develop, not knowing the rules and regulations that they will be ultimately found. But when they cannot make any sensible living out of it, then they become confused. One should not become confused. They should know they already set up, uh, you know, rules and regulations of mm. prakriti. Prakriti uh, is under control of Krishna, and we are under control of Krishna. Only devotees will want to become under control of Krishna. That's the one. So naturally, uh, three modes of material nature are also affecting in a benevolent activity. Charity is affected. So it's very important that we should discern when we are in Krishna consciousness, uh, we have to see what pleases Krishna. Uh, and that to be uh, given without any obligation. Dieta anupakarene. Anupakarena means one who is not going to give you the return. But here there are so many returns, multifold returns, and giving charity in Krishna consciousness. Multifold returns are there. But they are all just to promote your Krishna consciousness, facilitate everything in order to increase uh, the advancement of Krishna. So uh, this is very important uh, that uh, in matter of uh, charity, we have to consider with an, uh, you know, spiritual understanding that Krishna gives us. Otherwise, modes of material nature cannot be overpowered unless we surrender. Daivi Hesha Guna Mahi Mama Maya Duratyaya Mamevi Prabhupada Maya Mikamari. So devotional service is a process of surrendering to Krishna so we can cross over. Yeah. Otherwise, Maya will force us to dance according to her desire to the agency of three modes of material. Do any dancing, but you will have to uh, compare the uh, understanding and uh, and uh, see how much are we bound or how, how much are we free uh, to execute any charitable work. Anybody has any question? What time of the day does the mode of ignorance begin and what time of the night does the mode of ignorance end? In this material world, mode of goodness is only available before sunrise, one and a half hour. That's called Brahma mood. Right. Yeah. And if we miss that and do not utilize it, who is at disadvantage? Ourselves. Because as soon as sun rises, mode of passion increases. You know, that lasts all day long, and the mode of ignorance will set in during the evening hours and night hours. So, uh -huh. if we have to, uh, you know, take the best advantage of 
any uh, spiritual activity, more of goodness is the best. It is available, yet people it neglect. For those who are doing night shift, all right, they work mostly in the mode of ignorance. And when it daytime comes, the Brahmamurth will also pass away and they would not recognize it. So, you can see those who are coal miners, they virtually live in their mines for days together. Prabhupada makes a remark in England, that is the city of Sheffield. In Sheffield, uh, there are coal mines. Right. So the priest thought, okay, these people are so poor, they don't have any access to the good news uh, that is the Bible has to give. So he thought, let me go down. So he went. Said, brothers, I brought the good news. I got the good news. Uh, that we don't, we can't read newspaper here. You know, they say. No, no, I'm telling the good tides given by Lord Jesus Christ. And they say, what is his number? <laughs> because uh, in, in, in the cold mind, you just call by numbers. So they thought Jesus is also one of the <laughs> that he has come. All right. So first of all, it is a place of darkness, misignorance. And the surrounding psychology is also in mode of ignorance. So therefore they were uh, humbled in identifying Jesus. It's very difficult uh, for them to have something uh, exchangeable that will put light into their hearts and psyche and understand the effect of moral goodness that we are all supposed to be. How long can we can we act in the mode of passion? We started our life in a mode of ignorance. You don't know what you do, but when you turn 12, you will have more of passion overpowering you and you'll make everybody crazy. I don't want you to make crazy anybody. Your parents are very pious, okay? Uh, after 12, watch out. And I will get all the reports. So then, then, uh, a more oppression lasts all the way until they can make S out of you to work hard just to earn living. Then, when you are tired and you will come uh, retired from your job, then all of a sudden, more of ignorance starts setting in. So, when is the chance, where is the opportunity for more of goodness to grow? So, while you are young, you are taught in the mode of goodness, the spiritual thing, and you can remember. So, accept with a very cool mind rather than counter questioning. Okay? Too many questions doesn't make you intelligent. Too many uh, answers uh, are necessary to clean our intelligence. You can ask as many questions, right, that will help you. Don't fill up yourself with questions. Fill up with the answers. Like what we say today, three types of charity you have to put in your brain. Okay, so you will remember. When you will become a big man, earning money, 
you know, then you have to understand all your activities of charity should be in mode of goodness, not mode of passion or even all that. If you chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra, it will keep your uh, stupid brain, you know, in control from mode of passion and ignorance. It will keep you in control and provide you more of goodness all the time. That is our learning. In your school, they won't teach you this. They will teach you more of passion. In my mother. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> anyway, this is the education, spiritual education um, denotes foundation of our character. And we always sort you know seek the help of more of good. Associate with those who are in more of goodness. What is the result of associating with those who are in more of passion? <laughs> and, and, and the mode of ignorance. Watch out. You'll be affected by peer pressure as soon as they will go and the junior high. Right? Watch out. Hmm. Right. Thank you very much. Your pizza is ready. <laughs> I, I have been smelling for a long time. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.